Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different than what I've been doing. I am doing a getting ready with me video, um, specifically to get ready to do TikToks. <laughs> it is, uh, I think it's like 9.30 right now at night. This is usually when I'm doing my TikToks. I like, like after I work from nine to five, but like nine to six usually, um, <laughs> I will give myself like some time just to chill out, relax. You know, you need that relaxation time. And then I'll go ahead and start, you know, film my TikToks. So this is just like a bag of makeup I have. Um, I also don't like the setup that I have right now. I don't really have like a beauty area. I usually just do my makeup either in the bathroom or in the bathroom. So I, I don't really have a perfect setup, but I figured I wanted to show you guys like kind of the makeup that I'm into right now, some products that I've been using. And you guys can let me down below if there's any products that I should be looking out for or trying because I'm always interested in something new. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. There's a lot of things wrong with this setup. I feel like I am kind of far away. There's a pole, obviously. I have this pole in my room. It's kind of annoying. Um, you're seeing my bed. You probably never seen it. You probably never seen it before. Um, so it's just very weird. I don't really like that setup. Um, I'm hopefully moving soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. So, you know, definitely like some tours and whatever and like shopping. I'm excited about all that kind of stuff going into 2021. So I definitely want to keep you guys in the loop. Um, so first I'm going to take the Let Me First primer. Um, I just got this primer in my Ipsy bag, so I'm just going to test that and apply just a light coat on my face. Um, I already applied a little bit earlier if you guys checked out that video, um, so I'm not trying to go too deep with going in with more, but it's like more like the areas where I know I'm going to have to pack on a lot of makeup um, just so I know it's seamless there like in these areas so they're not as dry um next i'm going to be taking my beauty blender not from beauty blender and um i know people usually just wet them with water i actually wet it a bunch with my fix plus and i'm going to be using the morphe 2 um foundation and this is from that um tiktok collection from uh what are their names Dixie and Charlie. Why did I like forget their names? Um, and this is in the shade Hint of Nutmeg. I actually got another shade before that was a lot darker and it did not sit well with me at all. It was actually awful. Um, and I usually don't put this much foundation on. If I could even get it out. Um, but since I've been breaking... Um, I've been breaking out so badly that I've been having to cover up my full face and I just I don't usually do that look at the shade it's amazing it fits me so well um so I don't usually cover my entire face in foundation um and a lot of people know me for that like not doing that but in this case I've been breaking out so badly and when I'm filming TikToks I want to look seamless and you know that's why I do that so this is light coverage so I know I said like with my acne and stuff but it pretty much covers everything I want. And then I'll show you guys what I do just to get those areas that not didn't covered. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on my lids. I'll go back around here, cool. Ooh, now that that is done, you guys are probably gonna be like, what are you doing now? Um, now I'm gonna be taking the Huda Beauty uh, concealer and this is in the over Overachiever. Um, it's a little bit lighter than usual. Um, so I just put a little bit under my eyes, because I don't really have bags. Um, put a little bit here. No, let's not put any there. Sometimes it'd be making me look like I have a mustache. And I just like to go in in the areas that still didn't get that much coverage, because this is full coverage. And then I'll go back in with my beauty blender. And sorry, I've been like not looking here as often. I'm over here looking in my mirror, just making sure that I don't look crazy. Okay, look at that, look at that. It makes me look so much like more awake. Um, than I usually am. I feel like I'm always tired a lot more often lately and I don't know why. I don't really do anything. This is my day to day, like just like staying home. I work from home um, 
And then if I make dinner for my mom and I, we do HelloFresh. So I do that. And then after I'm done with that, I kind of just do a TikTok and like chill out for the rest of the night. Wow, look at that. It looks like my nose is so snatched right now. I've always wanted to get my nose done and you're probably gonna be like, no, don't do that. But like, I really want it done. All right, cool. So now I'm just gonna go on those areas where I did put a little bit of concealer on to cover up. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the foundation just to cover that back over so that the color isn't so bright. Um, I'm gonna set my face Face. my face first i'm gonna be using one of the brushes that i got in my ipsy bag as well i'm using the tarte um shape tape powder and i'm trying to see what shade it's in um it's in the shade tan deep so that's what i've been using it's perfect for my skin it's a little bit orange which i tend to see happen a lot for me using shadows and such which kind of sucks um, but you know, again, with finding, you know, tons of inclusion with like shades and stuff, it's harder for someone like me who has like a bunch of different shades and a little bit darker, but like not that dark to find like shades that fit me. So that's that. All right. I'm not like crazy about setting, but especially under my eyes. I feel like that's good for me. So now I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I really wanna try, have you guys seen that new pomade they have for like your eyebrows? I really wanna try it. I haven't um, purchased it yet. I'm definitely doing an Ipsy, Ipsy. I'm definitely doing a Ulta like haul soon. So I'm definitely gonna purchase some things. And that's like one of the major things on my list that I wanna get. But let me know if you guys have already like purchased it or tried it out. I'm curious to know how that, that is. So I'm just brushing up my brows that need to be done. They need to be done. Like I need to go get them done. Um, and I like to give them a little bit of like a feather look before filling them in. Cause I am going to fill them in. Um, brow gel um, pomade. And this is in the dark brown shade. It's a little bit darker than my, um, my natural brows, I feel like. Um, but again, I don't go in with too much. I just like to line it slightly just to give myself a little bit of a shape. So that's why I'm still able to use this brush. So you guys can see, and I like to line it slightly. And I don't brush them out. I know that's weird to say, and people are really like, what? Yeah, I don't like to brush them out, like at all. Um, and then I just need to make sure they match. Um, because brows are, are they sisters, not cousins? That's what you like to say. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this concealer back on my lid once again and pat that in. Taking the Morphe eyeshadow palette, this is the 25D, oh boy. Um, I have a ton of Morphe palettes at this point. I feel like I've been shopping there so often. I also have the Nikita Dragon palette, which I've never tried yet. So let me know if you guys wanna see a tutorial on that. Um, I don't know what kind of look I would do curious to see like if I can even do a dramatic look anymore I haven't done that in so long um, but this is the palette tons of neutrals again we're just doing some TikTok videos so I'm not going to be trying to look super glamorous Stayed right here I'm gonna put that in the crease and fluff that out um, it's a little bit more orangey than I was expecting but that's fine I'm just going in little slow stroke motions because um, we want it light. I'll explain why. Okay. Then going in with a little bit of a darker shade, I'm going to take this orangey color. Actually, let's take this brown color above it just because I want this to be a little bit more muted. I'm going back in in that crease and I'm going a little bit harder, a little bit harsher on that inner part here so you're doing windshield wiper motions i know i probably am like the least versed person in giving a makeup tutorial so please don't mind me okay perfect i'm happy with this 
Again, not going super harsh or, you know, in depth with that. Then for my lid, I'm gonna be taking that flat brush. Um, and I don't want to go too light from what I'm wearing now, so I'm going to go in with that shade over there just to pack that onto my lid, just to continue to brighten up my eyes slightly. And again, keeping it really light and natural looking so I don't want people to think I have makeup on. You know, they know I have makeup on. I just keep that super light. And then this is your choice if you want to take that brush and go back in and blend it all together. Um, I don't really need to given the style of makeup that I'm gonna do today and you'll see why. Um, okay, so that's all done. A nice flat tip. I'm just getting closer to my mirror over here because I feel like um, I'm gonna mess up. This is kind of dry here. Yeah. Um, so essentially what I'm gonna do is just do the wing like arch you'll see what i mean i can't even explain myself like i said before i'm not someone to explain a makeup tutorial to so i'm just gonna keep my eye open and I just drew it really lightly because i didn't want to mess up okay okay it looks good perfect i love it all right let's try the other side and try not to, you know, fudge it up. The wings are definitely not as clean as the actual look, but it is okay because you probably can't see it this close for TikTok. Um, so now I'm just gonna contour very slightly um, using this contour brush. I'm also using the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette again. Um, I feel like I use just these two darker shades and sometimes I'll use these to set my um, under eyes but um, yeah I really feel like I use a lot of Anastasia products but lately I haven't purchased a lot from them I don't know if anybody else feels the same way um, again I want to get that pomade but I feel like they kind of get stuck in like one style and then I don't really like them anymore so I don't know so I'm just contouring all around here very lightly giving myself some dimension here and then contoured my nose very slightly um i also have like a little bit of a butt chin that people don't really notice so i like to contour the butt chin because i think it makes me look skinnier yeah <laughs> and then a little bit underneath my jawline now i'm going to be using my mascara um this one is really good i'm not i'm like well uh, Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions, um, Liquid Lash Extensions, um, I got this in one of my Ipsy bags a while back, but it's one of my favorites, it makes your lashes so long and lengthy, and it doesn't, like, make them harsh, like, afterwards, like, I don't feel like I'm scrubbing to get them off, it's actually pretty easy to get this off, um, but it is waterproof, so, you know, again, it does take some time to get it off, but it's not like burning my eyelids, which is great. Um, so I'm just gonna put that on the lower lash as well. Okay. So you already see the, look at the difference. That's crazy. So I like to do this kind of motion where I shake the brush and wipe it up. And then I like to fluff them out. Um, so now I'm just going to finish everything off using this Fix Plus. So this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Um, this might have been a really weird get ready with me. I don't even have like, like explained anything properly. Let me know what I can do differently. Um, but we're not even done because it's get ready with me. So you're going to get ready with me. This was just a very awkward video. Let's just let's just agree on that. Now let's just show the clips of all the TikToks that I made today using this makeup look.
Are you from New York even? Yeah. Are you from New York even? Do you have a big black puffer jacket even? I hope you guys enjoyed those videos. Um, and if you did, you need to go on my TikTok and follow and like my videos and let me know um, any other trends that are coming up and you know things that I should be doing on TikTok that I'm not doing because sometimes I'm super old and don't know anything. I just hit like 15K views on like one sole video that's like still blowing up as we're speaking. So I just got a bunch of new followers. So I have to put out some content. So that is why I'm here doing this makeup tutorial because I need to go look presentable for my new fan base. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this makeup look, comment down below some other looks that I can do or any other styles that you think um, I can you know, change up my makeup look. If you also like this video, don't forget to actually like it, comment and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. I can't wait to do more of these get ready with me, you know, makeup tutorial. Cause I feel like this is not really like a everyday makeup look. And I don't feel like this is a makeup tutorial. I feel like it's really a get ready with me to do TikToks. Even though I didn't like actually like do the rest of the TikTok like, process. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Bye.